All right, so in this problem, I have seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x is equal to 28. So to solve this problem, I'm gonna first start by factoring out seven to the power of x on my left-hand side. So I get seven to the power of x times 7 to the power of x divided by 7 to the power of x is equal to 1. So I get 7 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 28. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So I get 7 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 28. And now if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out and I get seven to the power of X is equal to 28 divided by four, which is also seven. So I get seven to the power of X is equal to seven. And obviously just at first glance, we get X is equal to one because seven to the power of one is equal to seven. However, also if this was a problem like nine to the power of X is equal to 27, we can just nine X isn't going to be a whole number. So the way the proper way to do this is to make both of these the same base. So nine is the same thing as three squared. So I get three squared to the power of X is equal to 27 is the same thing as three to the power of three. So I get three squared to the power of X is equal to three to the power of three, five something from a to the power of M to the power of N. This is equal to a to the power of M times N. So three to the power of two to the power of X is equal to three to the power of two X, which is equal to three to the power of three. And now that these two are the same bases, if I have something in the form A to the power of M is equal to A to the power of N, this means that M is equal to N. So in this case, two X is equal to three. And now if I divide both sides by two, I get X is equal to three over two. So that, that's how you typically solve these types of exponential equations. Now going back to this problem, we got x equals one. So now to check, and it's very important to always check your answer in an equation because you may have gotten it wrong. So my equation was seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x plus seven to the power of x is equal to 28. So we got that x equals one so if I plug in one for seven, I get seven to the power of one plus seven to the power of one plus seven to the power of one plus seven to the power of one is equal to 28. Now from here, seven to the power of one is the same thing as seven, right? So I get seven plus seven plus seven plus seven is equal to 28. Now this is the same thing as 28. So I get 28 equals 28 and this is right.